All right, so our first assignment, we will be doing a worksheet after the lecture. The students will have to write down their names and the date. And then after that, they can color the objects, the pictures, and then color the words. After they do that, they have to match each picture to the word. So, for instance, snowy would connect to the snowflakes. Stormy would connect to the clouds with the lightning. Rainy would connect to the clouds that have rain. Windy would be the one with the tree that is blowing. Sunny would be paired with the one with the sun. And cloudy would be the one with all the clouds. So they can either color it first or connect the words. And then after they've done that, we can go ahead and color they will have about five minutes to complete the worksheet and once they have completed the worksheet I will check it off to make sure that each worksheet is correct and that they understand the material and then after this worksheet is done we will go on to a science experiment explaining rain So that is kind of the gist of this. It just gives them a chance to color and to relearn the material. And it just gives them time out of doing something that they're not normally used to doing. So let's say this is done. I'll check it off put everything to the side and then for that we would just need either crowns markers and the worksheet and then after that is complete we will move on to the science experiment so what we'll need is water we will need a container preferably a clear container shaving cream and food dye. I'm using blue. So what we will do is you have your container. You will fill it up. So after it is filled up, not all the way, just a good amount where it leaves an inch for the shaving cream to put in. And then you just put the shaving cream over the water. So after you have done that, You will get your food dye so I put it like this so that way everyone can see what is going on so this is just gonna act as say it's us like we're living down here and the shaving cream equals the clouds so when clouds collect moisture 
it just stays but when it gets too heavy and it can no longer contain a lot of the moisture the dye will start to sink and that explains a little more of why rain happens and so when clouds collect too much moisture they it just starts to sink so as you can see here it looks like it's raining and the dye is just falling so this will be very important for kids to see because it explains better than telling them how rain is made this way they can actually see it